World champion athletes are already at the top of their sport, breaking records and setting new goals in each competition. But can they push themselves to tackle challenges from the animal kingdom, performing feats no human has before? This is Nature's Limits. I'm Alex Danis. I am a scientist, a filmmaker, and an animal lover. We're here in Arizona to meet with indoor skydiver Maya Kochinska. Maya is a world champion indoor skydiver. She and I are going to meet some hummingbirds, find out what makes them some of the world's most incredible aerial acrobats, and then see if she can replicate some of their amazing moves. I went to the tunnel for the first time when I was 10. It's pretty much like the only sport that I really, really enjoy, and so I started flying. I'm a very artistic person. I really like doing like all types of art, drawing. It reminds me a lot more of an art than a sport, even though it is very physical. Hey, how are you? Hi. So that was amazing. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Absolutely impressive. How do you do that? Physics. Okay, <laughs> cool. I push on the air depending on where I want to go. So if I want to go up, I'll push down. And if I want to go down, I make myself small. So this reminds me a little bit of bird flight, perhaps. And I think there's some stuff I saw you do in there that you could probably replicate from something like a hummingbird. So did you see a lot of hummingbirds growing up? Uh, not really, because I'm from Europe and there's no hummingbirds there. And I thought they were like these mystical creatures like fairies. And I was like really shocked when I saw one. Oh, there it is. He goes so fast. I love them so much. So they weigh so little. Do they need to be beating their wings like a lot to stay up? They are so small, but they're beating their wings, depending on the species, 40 to 80 beats per second. If they were just like, they kept that metabolism happening, they would almost starve. It seems like these birds have so many qualities that make it actually quite difficult to live. Yeah, so they're really built for the environments that they live in. One of their main sources of food is flowers, and they have to be able to hover to drink nectar from those flowers. Their wing setup is much closer to the way that insect wings flap than it is the way that bird wings flap. So rather than just sort of going up and down like a bird, they make a lot more of a figure eight. So they're actually pushing up as they push down and as their wings go uh, the other way too. So they're getting lift on both the up and the downstroke. Their pectoralis muscles are pulling their wings through the downstroke, and their supracoracoideus muscles are pulling their wings through the upstroke. The pectoralis muscle is pretty much the same as our pectoral muscles in humans, but in humans, the supracoracoideus is actually split into two muscles, though they still do the same job of pulling our arms up and back at our shoulder joints. The funny part is that in tunnel flying, one of the most important muscles is like all of um, the shoulders along with like the back and oh, okay. everything around here, the arms. That's crazy. So it really is similar. You are really working out your flight muscles, mm -hmm. essentially, because it's really those same muscle yeah. groups that they're using for their wings that you're using to fly. In the end, the birds generate about 75% of their lift on their downstroke and about 25% of their lift on their upstroke. People have calculated how fast some of these hummingbirds can actually do these turns and inversions. So I'd love to see if we can sort of put you in that tunnel and sort of start tracking you with some high-speed cameras and see how fast you're going too. It would be really cool to see how fast I could spin some of my moves because they go pretty ridiculously fast. <laughs> Despite their biological differences, Maya is going to be trying to match some of the aerial dynamics of the hummingbird. First, she'll be trying some backflips and turns. Scientists have calculated that some hummingbirds can pitch up, the move they would make to do a backflip, at a speed of around 1.13 revolutions per second. This would, if they were so inclined, let them do seven backflips in 10 seconds. Scientists have found that the hummingbirds can do fast yaw turns, revolving to their sides, at around 1.5 revolutions per second. Lots of hummingbirds also perform a stereotyped evasive maneuver, in which they turn away from a threat by rolling up and over onto their back and then rotating away, when they're trying to evade something. The magnificent hummingbird can do this in 0.2 seconds. Finally, we're going to have Maya try out some mating display dances, like the shuttle dance of the Costas hummingbird. Awesome. 
super cool. How did that feel doing some of those backflips, rolls, turns? Good. I think I managed to do everything pretty good. I think you did too. Let's go check out the high speed footage to see exactly how quickly you did some of those moves. First up is going to be your series of backflips. You did nine in 11 seconds, and we know that the hummingbirds can do seven rotations in 10 seconds, mm -hmm. so you are going faster than the hummingbirds when you're doing these rotations. Awesome. So one of the next things we had you do was the yaw turns. You did three in three seconds. So you're doing about one a second. Um, and so we know that the hummingbirds can do about two in a second. I believe I can do a lot faster. The other thing I want to look at right here is that evasive maneuver. So that sort mm -hmm. of half cork that you were trying to do. They can do it in about 0.2 seconds. You did that in about two seconds, um, which is pretty fast. And you, how do you feel like you did on that sort of maneuver? It looks a little bit awkward to me. I had a little bit of trouble trying to make it go straight forwards instead of like <laughs> smacking into the net. Cool, so do we have some things that we probably want to retry then? Pretty much everything. <laughs> okay, we can do that, we can do that. We have more time. On her second attempt, Maya completed 10 rotations in seven seconds. This would equal a pitch up speed of 1.4 revolutions per second, which is just faster than the hummingbird's 1.3 revolutions per second. Maya also completed three yaw turns in one second by placing herself into a more aerodynamic body position. Her yaw rotation of three revolutions per second would therefore be twice that of the hummingbird's 1.5 revolutions per second. Maya completed her evasive maneuver in 1.2 seconds. This was slower than the Magnificent Hummingbird's 0.2 seconds, which covers only 10 total wing beats. Stringing these high-speed rolls and turns together into complicated maneuvers is where the Hummingbird's abilities really shine. Finally, Maya attempted the impressive shuttle display of the Costas Hummingbird. Again, a fun interpretation of one of nature's fastest dance moves. It was awesome to get to hang out with Maya and see some birds and talk a little bit about how their flights were the same and different. Uh, so I never really thought that the way that I fly is similar to the way that birds fly. However, hummingbirds hover a lot and do all these swoops and things that are a lot tighter than the ones that normal birds do, which definitely reminds me more of flying. You could see how I'm pushing away from the wind and then swooping and doing all of these things, even with my arms as little substitutes for wings. <laughs> If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to Red Bull's channel, give it a like, and leave us a comment about what animal and athlete pairing you would want to see next.